بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم نحن نقص عليك أحسن القصص بما أوحينا إليك هذا القرآن صدق الله العظيم We narrate to you the best of narratives by our revealing to you this Quran. Habil, one of the noble sons of the Prophet Adam, sought permission to go into the jungle and hunt wild beasts, living there alone for the first time. Adam knew the dangers involved and feared for his son's safety, but finally, after much persuading on Habil's part, Adam consented upon the strict condition that he would return home before it grew dark, brimming with excitement about his first hunt. Habil set out early. Today my family will feast on a most wonderful banquet. Ha! Hey, where did it go? Greetings, my beautiful friend. Thank you. 
start to get in trouble. To think I could have orphaned that fawn. got back. Don't you realize that father was worried about you? Yes. I hope I did not worry you all. I suppose this will be my first and my last hunt, eh? All that time in the jungle, and you still come back empty-handed. Hey, I almost lost my life out there. I was nearly attacked by a deer. I thought you'd be fighting lions with your bare hands. Stop teasing. Do you know father is angry with me? Oh, calm yourself. He would never get angry with precious little you, like he would if it were me, of course. What's that supposed to mean? It's not like father to get angry with just anyone, so why would he be angry with you and not me? Because you're his favourite, the good son, right? You never do anything wrong. You're the apple of his eye. That's not true. Father loves us equally and it would really hurt him if he were to hear you talking like that. And I love him too. But as usual, you always seem to get what you want. Do you think I don't see that? How much better he treats you? I can't believe you're saying this. Well, what do you mean, better? He treats us exactly the same. Really? So how come two days ago, I asked him if I could go hunting, and he told me I couldn't. But when you wanted to go, he let you. So stop acting like you don't know what I'm talking about. But that was the day of the Great Flood, when all our food supplies were ruined. We would have starved to death if we'd not worked hard to refill our stock. And that was why I wanted to go hunting. I only wanted to help out. But because he hates me, he didn't want me to go. Oh, Carbill, what you're saying is so unfair. Father was only worried about your safety, and you should know by now how much he cares for you. Like I said, I care for him too. But I know he would pay me more attention if you weren't around to spoil it all. What? You can't be serious. Oh. Carbill, 
We'd better go before father starts worrying about both of us. much you try and be a good son, your father will always love Harbel more than you. You must get rid of him, or soon the entire family will turn against you. Then where will you be? I would gladly give all that I have to Allah, for He has given me everything I own. Hmm, why should I give away my best crops, seeing as how hard I've worked to make them grow? Although, if I don't give at least something, Father will criticize me for being mean. Hmm. I know. If I leave some old fruit, no one will see me, and father will not think less of me. I never realized I could be so crafty. O oh Lord, accept this offering. Forgive my sins and guide my mother, my father and brother on the straight path. Amen. Adam makes them see that his actions have been witnessed all along by Allah, who sees and hears every move we make, and, as we might do so, nothing can be kept secret from him. Although disappointed with himself, Adam's feelings of remorse are soon replaced by the constant breaking of Shaitan. See how they choose Harbal over you again? Now if someone were to get rid of him, who would know? You know, you could do it secretly and never be blamed. I'm telling you, boy, if you don't get rid of that troublemaker soon, you'll regret it, and for the rest of your life. Just think how nice life would be without him, hmm? Yes, yes, I'll do it. I'll kill Harbin. Got your tongue? Or are you still upset about what happened? Leave me alone, Daddy's boy, or or I'll kill you. Kill me? 
Carbo, that is not funny. You shouldn't make jokes like that. And, and why are you carrying that rock in your hand? Who's joking? I should have gotten rid of you a long time ago. Are you insane? Do you realize what you're saying? If I didn't fear Allah, I would shake some sense into you. We're brothers. The sons of a great prophet. Have you forgotten that? Brothers? You're no brother of mine. You're the worst enemy in the world. I'm so sick of you always making me look like a fool. I've had enough, do you hear me? I don't understand you. What did I ever do except try to be the best brother that I could? Even if you stretch out your hand to kill me, I would never do the same to you. Blast it! vicious lion, or even a man eating tiger. Then shouldn't we run? What? Don't tell me Daddy's boy is scared. Well, yes, a little. If we go now, we could get to safety before it's too late. I will stop shaking and relax. It may not even pass this way, and even if it does, we'd never get away in time. We should go now, maybe find higher ground. Stop whining. We have no idea which direction it could be coming from. Do you want to run into the jaws of a man-eating lion? <sighs> it's a leopard. I think it's a lion. And that's fine. Now watch and learn how a true hunter hunts his prey. You'll see. Father will be so proud of me. After today, every animal in the jungle will tremble when they see Carbil the hunter. Don't be foolish, Carbil. It's too dangerous. Ah! Oh! Don't you dare try and hold me back. Hey boy, how are you? Do you know who I am? I am Kaga. All who live in the jungle must fear me. Do you understand what I'm saying? I will make a necklace from your sharp teeth, and your colorful skin will make me a new shirt. <laughs> I know you think you're strong and fierce, but not against me. I am the best hunter there is, and believe me, today is not your lucky day. Do you understand? I am Cardo the Great Warrior, Cardo the Great Hunter. Ah! Oh! Cardo, Cardo, help me! Please help me! I don't want to die. Please help! Get off! Get off! Please get him off! Cardo! Ah! Please! Cardo, help! Please! you my life, Harbin. I will repay you one day, but promise never to tell father about this. A promise? Yes, of course. Help me! 
grab the drunk rollerball. Ah, uh, come on, please help me. I need you. Garbo, why didn't you help me back there today? Is your hatred for me so great that you would leave me to die? No, I wanted to help you, really. But then I thought you'd learn a better lesson if you figured out a way to deal with your own problems. But I've gotten through worse situations than that one, so I don't see how not helping me would have taught me anything. Ah, stop being such a baby. If you had fallen, you would not have been killed, you know. I always try and help you to be there for you when you need me. Why can't you do the same for me? I pray to Allah every day to help you rid yourself of these evil thoughts about me. What are you talking about? What have I said wrong now? If I've ever done anything to hurt you or upset you, you should tell me. Give me a chance to make up for my mistake. I can remember when things were much better between us, when we were much younger. But everything's changed now. Why is that? Well, did you tell father what happened yesterday? Forget about yesterday. I want to talk about what's going to happen between us now. I'm surprised you didn't tell him. That was your big chance to win his love all for yourself. Win his love? Why do you say things like that? Father loves us equally. Do you think your offering wasn't accepted because he doesn't love you? He explained that this was a test and a lesson for the future. Can't you see? He wants us to be happy. Oh, really? He wants me to be happy, does he? So how come I'm always the one soaked with sweat after a hard day's work because you have the easy job? Look, if you want to swap jobs, you can have mine, if that will make you happy. That offer would mean something if father had suggested it. But you get all the easy jobs because he has a soft spot for you. What I've ever wanted means nothing to him. He just wants me to slave all day long. But I can be patient. My time will come. If you feel so strongly about it, why don't you tell him how you feel? Instead of bottling it up like you always do. What's the point? He's got no time for me these days, and that's fine by me. What is greatest fear is the dragon's troubled heart when they do nothing but disaster and help me. Each night is James of Trouble. Can you hear me? Carbo, please listen to me. You have to wake up before it's too late. Wake up! Wake up! Can't you see the fire? Carbo, wake up! Please wake up! I don't want you to die. Please listen to me. Carbo! Carbill! No! Carbill! Carbill! Carbill, wake up! Please, wake up! I don't want you to die! Please, listen to me! Carbill! Carbill! No! Wake up! Can't you see the fire?
See, you could not rid yourself of the evil whispers of Shaitan. Don't act the innocent with me. It's all your fault that the family hates me. That's nonsense, and you know it. Mother and father have never reprimanded you, and even though I've always tried to help, you've always treated me like a rival. That's because you fought everyone into thinking you're such a goody-goody, when I know you're a liar. If everyone could see you for what you really are, my offering would have been accepted. I saw your offering, Carbill. It was all rotten! Allah will only accept the offering of honest people. You can't blame me for what you gave as an offering. I don't need this. I really don't need this. How I hate you! You don't hate me, Carbill. You only hate yourself. You. You. It's all about you, isn't it? The only time I'll get any peace is when you're good and dead. If you want to kill me, go ahead. But I won't fight you. You hypocrite. You act so innocent when you're the one who's turning the family against me. Take my sins and your own to the fire. This will be your punishment for your evil actions. That's it. I've had it with you. Shut up forever! Ah! But wake up! Wake up! Do you hear me? Stop joking! It's not funny anymore! Habil? My God! What have I done? Did I kill my brother?
I'm so low that I need a crow to show me what to do. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم 
واتل عليهم نبا ابني ادم بالحق اذ قربا قربانا فتقبل من احدهما ولم يتقبل من الاخر قال لاقتلنك قال انما يتقبل الله من المتقين لئن بسطت الي يدك لتقتلني ما انا بباسط يدي اليك لاقتلك اني اخاف الله رب العالمين صدق الله العظيم But it was excessive for one of them, but not the other. He said, I will not suffer in this way. The other said, Allah will be in silence from those who fought against evil. 